had to congratulate you on your Emmy. What does it feel like? How did you celebrate when you heard? Well, I was actually on the red carpet in Paris um, last night. And I was with my, all my best friends. And uh, <laughs> my best friend Anna came up to me crying. <laughs> I thought something terrible had happened. And she was like, no, 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 it's fine. It's an Emmy nomination. I went, for who? Um, <laughs> So yeah, it was a really lovely moment and um, Tom announced it on stage, what a generous thing to do. So, you know, it just felt amazing that a bit of the crown still follows me around, even on the mission red carpet. <laughs> well, congratulations. You mentioned Tom there, you guys sound like you have a lovely relationship. What was it like to work with him? He's just the most generous person I've ever met. He knows everybody's name. We filmed this scene where we had to like barge through lots of extras. Um, and they'd been in there all night and it was really hot. It was inside the Grand Palais and they were doing lots of silent dancing. And on the way, he kept stopping to apologise and say, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, are you okay, are you okay? And I just thought, despite, you know, despite the take and the camera rolling, he still wanted to make sure everyone was okay. And that is a sort of uh, a real indication of what he was like. I was filming the second series of The Crown in London at the same time as doing night shoots in Paris, so I travelled from one to the other with no sleep. And I was really worried that they'd mix and they'd become the same person. Uh, so I, my, my main goal in it really was to make someone as, as different as I could as I could. I remember at 4am in the Grand Palais being like, am I dreaming? Is that really Tom Cruise or am I some kind of like mad action dream? Uh, but it wasn't in the end, it turns out. So yeah, I was very lucky. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.